Hey, I'm reviewing the Lamborghini Countach. Or like, holy crap. That's basically what it means in English. Um, I learned a lot from uh, doing the Maserati build. Uh, learning how to set up the car with a lot of top end power. So, um, I had to tune this car before and just couldn't really get it to work right with the, with the wing. So I set it up like the Maserati and um, took off all the weight reduction, redid the engine, and uh, put a lot of parts on it. That gives it a lot of uh, top end power. And then um, I put soft tires on the rear and mediums in the front because uh, the back likes to kick out, turn the uh, maximum downforce on. And then bore it out the track, left the suspension normal, stock. And um, this thing is a total snail getting off the line, like all the cars pass you. But as soon as you get to the top end, it's a rocket. And it's, uh, it's absolutely perfect in first gear because first gear is so big. It allows you to take the corners without losing the back end. So now I can just go flat out, first gear, second. The wing and the tires keeps it back from going into the dirt, it gives you um, some good control. And you can just watch this top end. See you later. When you're watching the chase cam, you can really get to see how this car's pulling away by setting it up on the top end. If your car doesn't have um, a lot of top end power, it's really, it's going to lose a lot of speed when you put um, downforce on it. So if you're running a car that, uh, that doesn't have a lot of wings and downforce on it, you want to make sure that car doesn't have a lot of top end. Then you can see the car just getting small. That's all that top end power and the downforce on the wing just to keep it from going crazy. So this is a build I would recommend for the, for the Lamborghini. Give it max wing, uh, give it some nice sticky tires in the back, um, medium. Like one step down, so sauce on the back, mediums in the front. You can leave the suspension the same. Um, with the extreme parts, I used the, the high lift cams. I did the racing air intake to give it top end. I did the racing headers to um, keep the throttle smooth just in case a car spins out it doesn't you can get it back um, didn't do any upgrades for for torque and uh, that's about it it's definitely a nice fun build and like now when you drive it you feel like you have the dominant Lamborghini Countach that it's known for and this game gives you a bonus when you have um, less understeer so when you have a lot of downforce and stuff that just puts weight on the back, 
to limit the car's ability to turn, you get extra performance points. But when you put a lot of sticky tires in the front and suspension to get the car to turn, then they take away uh, your performance points. So I don't recommend doing the weight reduction on this car. The benefit of weight reduction is um, gives you more gas mileage when you're doing Le Mans. So you can go three or four laps before a pit stop. But uh, for a race like this, you want to to get the maximum performance points. You, you want to keep the weight on the car. You don't want to do weight reduction and stuff like that. Because then you can't turn the engine up to the max where you can take advantage of the downforce and use everything that the car has to offer. And that's my review. Have a great day. Peace.